Welcome to our newly laid out garage. Today we're tearing down a legendary French classic, the Renault 5 GT Turbo, where we're about to embark on an adrenaline fueled adventure. Buckle up because this little beast is about to reveal its secrets. Brilliant. Now that's got the audience's attention. <laughs> this is what's left of the engine after removing it from the Renault 5. And tearing it down so far hasn't exactly gone our way. So today, I'm going to get this... What's your language? Today, I'm going to get this engine onto the engine stand. So, first step for us today is removing uh, the gearbox housing, which is this part of the engine here. Um, the engine itself, for anyone who hasn't seen any of our videos at all, is from a Renault 5 GT Turbo, which is in the background there. Um, this is C1J, which is a 1.4 turbocharged engine, um, which goes into that little beast, which doesn't weigh anything in weight. Um, so, at the well, at the moment, there's nothing in it because we stripped it out. Check out those other videos. Yeah. Um, let's kick off and start stripping off the gearbox. So what size nut was that one, Ems? 16. 16, awesome. So where's that one been undone here? It's the third one. Okay. So, so far, we have had to undo one from here, here, third one down there. It's three. It's going well. Voiceover. Now that's a new dynamic to our video. Voiceover, voiceover, voiceover. Right, right, right. While taking off the gearbox, we realised the subframe was in the way. So we switched and started removing the subframe. The water in there then. All off. So, um, rightly or wrongly, I disconnected the brackets. So I left the brackets actually on the um, engine block. Took the subframe off. Then I took the brackets off. Rightly or wrongly. Um, what I'm probably going to do now is actually reattach um, the brackets back onto the subframe, just so when I come to um, reassembly, I know where all those bolts are going. Imogen's just head off um, because, like I said in the last video, she doesn't find engines interesting. She finds the car interesting, um, but not the engine, which is a bit of a shame. But hey, you can't you can't win them all. She's interested in the Renault 5 and in, as a project overall. So. so now you can actually see the main block. There we go. So right, next part is the. Um, 
Now you couldn't actually talk whilst doing this work. Myself and Imogen had already removed most of the bolts to the gearbox as shown earlier in the video, but then we decided to remove the subframe as it was completely nothing in the way. I popped the engine back up onto the engine crane. Yep, completely aware I'm gonna get rinsed in the comments about safety, but you know what, you gotta use the tools that you have. There was a single brace that went from the block to the gearbox on the face of the engine. And apart from that, as you can see, Dad had to remove a shield which covered the flywheel. Is it? Wash my fingers, Dad. That's it, now you need to do that bowl. No, I've done it. No, you don't really have it. Yeah. Here it goes. Nice thick oil coming out of there. Huh? Nice thick oil coming out of there. Oh, good. Here we go. One gearbox done. Yeah. So uh, that was the gearbox all out, which is awesome. So um, yeah, we've been a bit dodgy by uh, attaching the engine to an engine crane like this, but we need to see what we're doing. Final thing we want to take off now is the clutch plate down here, and then we get it on the engine stand. So how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, start running. Yeah, make a mini hammer. That's great. Right. We're gonna pop it. Floor again. Actually, that's not bad. I'll take that. <laughs> that's what I normally do. That's pretty good. It's a clutch plate. That's how you take your clutch out. <laughs> Big test. Done. Yes. <laughs> so there we have it. At last, the engine is on the engine stand. We've managed to take it off the subframe, taken off the gearbox. Had a look at the drive shaft and also the clutch. So we've done loads today, which is absolutely fantastic. In the next video, we'll look in the internals a little bit more, see if this is hiding any horrible surprises for us. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, it's absolutely free. So hit that subscribe button, notification, 
and the like. 